bloody hell, Marjorie, that's it. I bloody had enough of this guy. Christ, I'm going to go bloody sort him out. Bloody silly bugger, Kevin bloody Enfield. Christ, i got to bloody sort that bugger out now I am. Oh, he's some bloody lucky. He's so bloody far away. Oh, my Christ, my bloody legs are hurting. Bloody hell. Oh, here he is, anyway. Better bloody be in. Oh, bloody hell, his car's not there. Christ. Oh, hello there, good sir. Terry has already gone to work, I'm afraid. He's not actually home. Oh, I'm not bloody here to see Terry. Oh, well, well who, would you, who would you like to see? I want to bloody see you, you little bugger. What, what, do, what do you mean? I've bloody had enough of you. Jack is some bloody boy and he's not going to say anything, that bloody pen burphy, But I bloody will. You are such a little bloody liar. I, I don't understand what you mean. Oh, you know exactly what you might bloody mean. Bloody accusing him and nicking your caravan. And now apparently, you bloody seen the other two here. How the hell? Did you know what they bloody look like? When the other day, you were saying it was bloody Jack. Oh, once a no-gooder, always a no-gooder, I'm afraid. And it wouldn't surprise me if he was uh, working with them anyway. I, I know what his track record is like. Oh, my Christ. I've met some bloody pricks in my life, but you, my handsome, are a bloody cactus. Do you know what? What I don't get, how did Kevin Enfield say he recognised them when one minute ago he was saying it was me that stole the caravan? Mm, I don't believe a thing that guy says, you know. I, I don't think they've been anywhere near. don't think they've been anywhere near. Anyway, what a nice place this is. Lovely view. Fantastic. Look at that. Reminds me of being back in Cornwall. Back at home. Anyway, doing what Terry says, getting a bigger bale trailer. He was right for a change. Fair play to him. He was right. Let's head on some some massive cattle farm here somewhere. Hopefully, we get a good deal. I think we're here. Right, let's have a look. I kind of let Travascus organise this, so I don't know what I'm getting myself into here. But... Hopefully it's going to be bigger than that little one we've got. Anyway, I tell you what though, I think right there bale stacking. Look at the state of it, and that's not the trailer, surely. I mean that looks, it looks kind of brand new, but it looks quite beaten up already. Hmm. Wow, that's worrying. It doesn't look like they look after their equipment. Anyway, um, 
where on earth am I going? Right, <laughs> it's around the back. I mean, fifteen hundred quid. Javascus has done well. If this is, if this is any good, then well done to him. I mean, our current trailer. What what were we thinking? Six bales maybe at max. Poor old Terry. It's been taking him ages. Interestingly enough, the farm the farm owner's given me a warning. He said, "Stay away from a young lad called Perry." Wow. Sounds familiar. Apparently he's a nightmare. <laughs> Every farm's got to have a Terry. Yeah. No wonder the trailers are so beat up. Right, down around the back here. Oh, dear. Well, down around the back here. I don't know what's going on down there, though. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, £1,500. You can't really go wrong. To be honest, I'm just getting it for Terry. I'm, I'm not doing anything with it. Um... Oh my goodness. What what is going on here? Can I go past? Alright. Jesus. You think you think you would lower them down, wouldn't you, really, to let me through? Right. Here is it? Hang on a minute. Let's have a look. Oh dear. Well that that's gotta be it there, right? Look at the state of it though. Travaskis. Sometimes cheap isn't always best, is it? But to be fair, I mean it runs. It's it's safe. It's road safe. The guy reckons. We'll find out on our uh, two and a half hour drive back to the farm. But yeah, I think it needs some new decking, though, doesn't it? Hmm. Not bad. Fifteen hundred pound. I'll I'll give him that one. I'll give him. I don't even know if I'm going to get out of here alive. My word, he is he's worse than Terry. I'm quite fortunate with Terry, he isn't that bad. Right, let's get this trailer connected. And then we'll head on back. Lots of grass cutting to do today. Lots of grass cutting to do today. And I don't know, I just I just feel like I need to I need to have this conversation with this Kevin Enfield, as much as I don't want to, to understand what, who, who did he recognise? Who, who actually was it? Because he was telling the police and accusing me at one point. Yeah, I don't believe a word he says. I really don't. Well, that didn't take too long to get back, actually, to be honest with you. That, that was all right. I've gone the back way. We'll uh, drop the trailer off, <laughs> the new trailer, if you can call it that. We'll drop the trailer off at the field, though, ready for Terry. I mean, it is about, well, what, what time is it? It's about quarter 11, I think. I don't know whether or not Terry would have started work. I mean, I'm sure he's at the farm, but, yeah, I don't know if he's come out. I mean, it certainly doesn't look like anything's moved here. I do feel for him, though, I'm not going to lie. Poor, poor sod. <laughs> been doing it like five bales at a time it's taken him ages it's probably cost him a fortune in fuel but at least he's having fun and he's having practice and to be fair actually it does look like he's moved a few more out of this field right let's take this carefully because this is quite a big old trailer yeah oh he's actually in there already right let's try and get in here properly there we go. Trying to take it extra wide. It's certainly bigger than it looks, this trailer. There we go. Ladies <laughs> just finishing off loading up another five bales there. Let's go out and say hello. Let's tell him the good news. I think he's going to love it. Morning, Terry. Oh, hello, Mr. Pemberthy. Are you doing a good job there, mate? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm getting pretty good at it now. Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, they're they're even actually pretty straight for you. you you're definitely getting better. Um. Anyway, I I did what you said. Oh, what what did I say? Well, you 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 said we need a bigger trailer, and you're right. We do. So, what do you think of that? Oh, it looks a bit old. Well, yeah. You you can blame Travaskis for that. That wasn't my fault. Travaskis. 
sourced it, he found it. I've just been and picked it up, but I've kind of got it especially to help you out, to be honest, Terry. Oh, that, that's going to save me so much time. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I was going to leave it in here for you, but to be honest, you're pretty much done, aren't you? You've done a good job. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, mate. I'll put it into the other field, because actually it was quite tricky to get it in here. So I'll drive back around, and I'll put it in the other field for you. You just have to take these couple of loose bales over on the spikes, I guess, and load them up on the new trailer. Oh, yeah. That, that, that's really good. No worries, mate. You are going to have to be careful with it, though, Terry. It is pretty poor. <laughs> yeah, Travascus did a good one there. We, we'll have to have a look at doing a bit of maintenance on that, too. Maybe put some new links of wood on it or something. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I was hoping you'd say that. Anyway, mate, right, I'll leave you to it. Well done, though, you're doing a good job. And I'll, um, I'll park this up in the other field. I've got to get on with mowing today, though. If you can hurry up with these bales... You can give me a hand. Oh, yes, please. That's different. Yeah, well, you've not done any moan yet, have you? So, yeah. Hurry up with this. You're nearly there, though, mate. And uh, I'll check in with Travascus, and then we'll start some moaning together. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Good. Right. Yeah, in all fairness, it probably wouldn't be fair of me to to give Terry the ownership of trying to get this trailer back out of this field. So we'll just do that. We'll drop it off for him. He's doing a good job, though, to be fair. He is doing a really good job. And there's quite a few bales in this field, so I didn't really tell him where to put them. So I'm, I'm just kind of... Well, I'm going to assume that, common sense maybe, he put them where the silage bales are. That's, that's where I would like them to go. I would imagine Chavaskis has probably given him a bit of guidance anyway. Right, well, let's just drop this trailer off. Still quite a lot to do, though. He's got quite a lot of bales to do, but I tell you what, Terry's worth his money in gold just being able to do this. This must be one of the most tedious jobs on the farm. So, great. I haven't had to touch a single bale so far. This is, this is brilliant. Right. I think just leaving it here for him is probably the best option. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll head on back. We'll see what Travascus is up to. I mean, hopefully he's happy with uh, the large amount of straw bales he's got, finally. Brilliant. Well, here we are. I'll, um, I'll just... Do you know what? Just thinking about it. I keep driving past it. That head is just a waste of time now. We, we ain't getting that harvester back. It was a write-off. It was unrepairable. We were fortunate in the first place, I guess, to, to find two of them, one to use as a donor. But, yeah, insurance are involved. Obviously, uh, potentially getting a new shed through it as well. But I don't know what we're going to do about a harvester. Hopefully, that's covered by the insurance as well. Wow, look at this. They've done quite a lot of work since I, I was last here. Wow. Wow. It's gone. The whole shed's gone. That is brilliant. I wonder if I can just go and pop my head around the fence there a minute. So I did request that they removed the the additional shed here that was on the side. The kind of lean-to shed. I didn't need it. I didn't really use it for a lot. In fact, the only thing it had ever been used for is for Terry to park his little moped in. But yeah, it was pointless. And we did find a new shed, which is going to look really nice here. Insurance have more than happily covered the costs. Pretty good price, I think. So the only suffering for me, I guess, is my insurance premium is probably going to go up. But brilliant. They've done a really good job here, actually. There's a bit of rubble to clear. But hopefully, hopefully I can get that new shed ordered soon. That would be really good. And there's the uh, the mower. Terry's got it running, which is good. It doesn't need a bit of a wash off, though. Um, we haven't got a pressure washer anymore, have we? What on earth is that? Where, where, where is it? Right, well, I mean, in all fairness, Travaska's paid for it, but we do need to find out where that is. It's quite expensive, I think. Let's check in with him. Morning, Travaskis. Oh, it's bloody afternoon now, my handsome. Oh, is it? Well, afternoon then. Oh, 
Where the bloody hell have you been? Oh, I've been getting a new trailer. I did tell you, do you, you organised it. You're the one who arranged the price for it. Do you not remember? Oh, I don't bloody remember. Of course, I slept since then. Okay, all right. I'll tell you what, I'm, it's, it's been bothering me a little bit now, actually, but this this Kevin Enfield business... Oh, don't you worry, my handsome. What do you mean, don't worry? I, I am worried. It's all I've been thinking about for, for days. For days, and you know, the last week or two, in fact. Oh, I've been there and bloody sorted him out. <laughs> what do you mean you sorted him out? Oh, I bloody give him bloody good to see him to, didn't I? Christ. What do you mean you give him a good to see him to? Oh, well, I bloody shouted at him a bit. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm glad you didn't do any more than that, because you are a bit frail. Oh, I'm not bloody frail. Got bloody sore legs, though, my Christ. Bloody long walk, that is. What? It's not a long wall. He lives opposite you. Oh, bloody hell. When you're 86, my answer. Christ. Even bloody walking to the bathroom is a long walk. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Um, It's very quiet in here today. Oh, my answer. I thought you bloody let them out, didn't I? What, you let them out or they just escaped? Um, bit of both. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, it looks better with uh, straw in here, though. You've given it a good clean out. So you have still got a pressure washer in here working, then. Oh, yeah, my aunt's and That one still bloody works. Um, where are the cows? Oh, they're down in the bloody grass field. But, I mean, it's nice that you've got them out, but I need to cut the grass field today. Oh, not that bloody grass field. What grass field is he talking about? Okay, all right. Well, this is the one I need to cut today, so that's fine. What is he talking about? Maybe it's the little, the little bottom one. Right. Anything you need me to do? Because I'm going to get on with some mowing. And uh, thanks for not putting the cows in that big field. Ah, oh, that's all right, my handsome. You got me bloody straw sorted out. Now you got bloody sort out some more food. <laughs> You're a slave driver. Ah, oh, well, you shouldn't be so bloody slow. All right. Okay. All right. I'll leave you to it. All right, my handsome. He is a slave driver, that man. Honestly, slave driver. Oh, yep. Yeah, Terry has put them where I wanted. I mean, to be fair, we, we've got a decent amount there. He's quite clearly already used quite a bit in there. And, I mean, we've got that and a half times again still at the field. Brilliant. Really, really good. So we're, we're in a good position now, I think. We're not, we haven't got to worry too much about kind of getting too much more food in really I, I'm assuming the goats are doing good and well, they are looking a little bit dry oh in all fairness no he needs to put a bit of well maybe we'll save them a, a grass bale today we'll chuck a grass bale in there but I mean they've got plenty of grass to graze on if they're hungry they know what to do he knows what to do having a good munch and oh yeah wow I mean Travascus he doesn't he doesn't think a lot though, does he? Because this isn't exactly fenced in. They're just up here eating. I mean, this isn't good. There, there might be nails and all sorts in here. This is not particularly good at all, really. I mean, I don't even know what's under here. They look happy though. They look happy. Where on earth did he find those? Stuck them right in the middle of the field. Wow. We won't be mowing that one today. In all fairness, I don't think, actually, when we mowed this last, I got a great deal from this field anyway. So if the cows enjoy it, doing a bit of grazing, make sure you don't chew up any screws or anything there, mate. Yeah, we'll leave them to it. We'll leave them to it. In fact, to be honest, we'll, we'll probably leave that there. It makes sense, doesn't it? They can come out a bit more often. I mean, I wouldn't like to be locked up in that barn if it was me, especially having to see Travascus every day. No, thank you. Right, let's get the, the rear mirror connected. Tell you what, it is pretty dirty, but he's done a good job. The PTO and everything on that that mirror behind there. It actually connected pretty good. Yeah, it really did. Now, this is going to be a bit of a pain to connect though, isn't it? Yeah, I don't remember putting it in quite so awkwardly. Well, hopefully. Hopefully I can pull it around. Let's have a bit of a fiddle. 
There we go. Looking pretty good. Let's get those hoses connected. Fantastic. Yeah. We were right. I need to keep an eye on the prices of this as well. I'm not going to lie. I almost forgot it was there. Isn't a great deal of grain, but that is going to give us a bit of income. And yeah, after we've done this field, we'll give this all a bit of a treat. Give it all a good clean, including the vulture. Might have to pull it up inside the cow barn, but I mean, while the cows are out, that was the only time to do it, really, isn't it? Anyway, let's head on over to this field. I won't go through the cow barn, though. I'll go the, the slightly longer way around. That is a tight old gateway, but it's certainly a lot better now. Yeah, now that all that mud's gone. And, you know, it's, it's surprising how much, really, I rely on Terry. Anyway, right, let's get this side opened up. And we'll, um, we'll lower that down as well. Lovely. Now let's switch over to our front controls. Good. It's all working quite nice. I already had it lowered down. That's not good, is it? And turn that on. Yeah, good. We've got a bit of power going there on that PTO. And that one as well. Yes. It's looking pretty good. Right. How is it going to cut? How is it going to cut? Because we've not used either of these. I mean, it's licking. It's looking pretty good. And I tell you what, that front mower for 500 quid, yeah, what a bargain that was. That looks really good. Let's leave that running quick and just jump out. Yeah, that's, cut, that's cutting it pretty good, you know. Don't want to get too close, but that is looking, that is looking pretty good. Quite a nice clean cut. Right, let's keep on going with this. Hopefully uh, Terry will turn up at some point. For 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward Never turn back again it's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. We've done alright, you know. But I have got to stop because we are due a delivery from the shop of a windbrower, actually. We've leased it. Same one or same kind of one that we leased last time around, I think. Yeah. I don't want to keep leasing stuff, to be honest. But needs must sometimes. I don't really have the funds spare to, to be buying a windrow, that's for sure. We've managed to get a few good little bargains, anyway. Now, I've seen Terry go past just the one time with that, that small trailer, so hopefully he's loading up the bigger trailer now. Chavaskis looks like he's in there sleeping. So we won't disturb him. Now, let's go have a look and see if our delivery is here. Not yet, but any minute. They, they phoned a second ago to say they're nearly here, so we'll just hang around. We'll, we'll just wait. We'll wait for them. I don't know what he's doing with these cars. He seems to have kind of forgot that he owns them, actually. But they need to go. I'm a bit fed up with them, to be honest with you. Doesn't seem to be actively trying to sell them. Hmm. Right, come on. Ideal. There we go. It's pretty good. That's brand new, you know. That is brand new. Now, I was going to let Terry loose on it. I think I still will. Yeah, even though it is brand new, hopefully he doesn't damage it. I don't want any charges from the shop. But yeah, when when Terry does eventually turn up, we'll um we'll let him have a go at some wind row. Definitely, I'm sure he's capable of doing some wind rowing. Anyway, let's check in with Travaskis. I know he's having a little afternoon nap, but I've seen a little hip flask of tea there. 
And I could do a pinch in a cup. Mrs. Travaskis does make the best teas. Alright, Travaskis! Oh! Bloody hell! Crying out loud. Oh my Christ, give me a bloody heart attack again. I know, I, it, it's, it's highly important though. It's very, very important. What the hell is more important than me having a bloody snooze? Uh, can I pinch a flask of tea? Oh my bloody god! I should say bloody no to you after that, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you shouldn't be sleeping on the job anyway. You should be out there checking on your cows. They're all loose. Roaming around the fields. There's no fence there. Oh, they ain't going to go bloody far, are they? Well, they might do. They're, they're out there doing whatever they want, to be honest. Oh, no, they bloody good. They do what they're told. They do, my answer. Yeah. Well, you don't really do what you're told. Oh, you bugger off your cheeky son. You want a bloody cup of tea or not? Yeah, yes, please. All right, hang on. Oh, Mr. Pepperfi. Uh, how's that coming from? Oh, hello, Terry. Oh, I need some help. Why? What's up? Oh, I just, I'm just a bit scared. All right, hang on. I've loaded up the trailer, but I just can't get it in. I mean, in all fairness, Terry, I don't even think I'm going to try either, actually. Well done, mate. That looks like quite a neat stack again. You're, you're getting pretty good at this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm a professional farmer now. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, Terry. So far, you've stacked some bales and you've written off a barn and a harvester. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. You just... You just cost more than you made so far, haven't you? So I don't know if I'd say you're a professional. But that is a good job. That is a good job. And, well, Javaskis definitely ain't going to moan about that for a while, is he? Um, does he know all the cows have run away? Uh, yes, he let them loose. Um, well, that was a bit silly. Yeah, I have just told him that. But to be fair, they're, they're enjoying it, aren't they? Um... Yeah, they scared me though, I nearly ran one over. What do you mean, nearly ran one over? Oh, well, they're just, just big, aren't they? <laughs> Terry. Anyway, Terry, right. Get your tractor disconnected. We've got another job for you. Something very different. Oh, do I get to cut some grass? Um, almost. Almost. You get to use a windrower. Um, what's one of those? Well, you've seen a minute. Come on. Get your trailer disconnected. Oh, uh, how do I do it? The same way as the other one, Terry. Just a slightly bigger trailer. Oh, okay. All right, Terry's a bit nervous about getting this inside the gateway, which is fair enough. It is quite a big old piece of machinery, and it is a very, very tight gateway. Now, hopefully, I can do it without embarrassing myself. Although no one's watching me. But yeah, I don't want to be the one who causes the damage to it. That wouldn't be good, would it? I'm pretty sure I'm going to make it, though, aren't I? Yeah, we're looking pretty good. There we go. Okay, right. Well, let's um leave that here. Let's go finish my cup of tea, and then yeah, we'll get we'll get the rest of the field mode and see how Terry gets on with some wind rowing. In all fairness, these these mowers are very good. They they're almost they're almost producing good rows already. Just take us a long time, wouldn't it? Take a very long time. Yeah, I reckon. Good job for the day. I reckon we're probably done. Maybe then into tomorrow, we'll uh, we'll bale it and we'll wrap it as well. Yeah, good. Now I'm gasping for this cup of tea. I hope it's not gone cold. All right, come on then, Terry. That'll do. We we haven't got all day. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just gonna leave my phone here. Terry, to be honest, I'd I'd rather you kept it on you, cause if I need to get hold of you for anything, if I need to speak to you, then you know you want to keep your phone on you. But also, your dad phoning you is driving Travaskis mad. Um, okay. Don't you bloody leave that little bloody thing here. Christ, I don't want to speak to your dad again once a day. He's bloody bad enough. Um, why have you already spoke to him today? 
Oh, my handsome. I feel bloody sorry for you, your father. Oh, my Christ. He's a bloody pain in the ass. Um, yeah. Yeah, he is a little bit, to be honest. <laughs> well, I'm glad we're all in agreement then. Right, come on, Terry. Let's go. Okay, Terry, I've parked it up ready for you. So all you've got to do is you've just got to jump in. Right, obviously start the engine. Lower these down. It's the buttons on the side. It's the same buttons that you press whenever you, you lower the trailer down, to be honest with you. It, it works It works the same way. So press that. It will lower these sides down. And what it does is, as you drive, it spins around. And it just puts them into a nice, long, thick row of grass. Ready for us to, to do some bailing, which you can help me with tomorrow, if you like. Oh, yeah, that sounds fun. Good, okay. Well, yeah, so I'm going to finish the other half of the field mowing up. And you just need to, yeah, just, just drive along behind me. And just as straight as you can, though, please. Yeah, I. <laughs> it would be much easier if you just go in a straight line, all right? But just try and make all of this loose grass all over the ground into as many single thick lines as you can. Do you, do you reckon you can do that? Oh, yeah, that sounds easy. Cool. All right, mate. All right, well, just jump in a minute while I'm here, and I'll just make sure you get it lowered down, all right? Okay. Okay, so yeah, nice one, mate. So press that button, get it lowered down. Oh, uh, this one? Yeah, that's looking pretty good, mate. Pretty good. Right, okay, lever next to it. The one that says lower. Just just press that a minute for me. Yeah, you got it. You're, you're getting good at this stuff, you are. You are getting good at this stuff. Brilliant. So all you got to do now is just, well, we'll turn it on. Let me just step back a little bit. That's it. Well done, mate. So, yeah, you're just literally... See how it's scooping all the grass in? Just going up and down the field. And just do your best to try and get, well, as much of it as possible into thick rows. Does that sound all right? Oh, yeah. Okay, mate. Ideal. All right, well. Yeah, you're doing a good job so far. Just see what happens when you start moving. Okay. This seems fun. Yeah, maybe. Right, let me get out of the way a minute. Wow, <laughs> there he goes. I think he's already failing on the straight line thing, like I told him. I mean, in all fairness, it is a straight line, but I don't know what his, his thinking is with all of that up there. Oh, dear. Right, well, I think the safest place for me to be is inside of my tractor while he's going around with that bloody thing. Oh, dear. Well, he's doing a good job. He's learning... First time for everything, isn't there? First time for everything. nearly done. I had to make a few little uh, sharp turns there to try and, oh dear, to try and uh, keep out the way of Terry. Oh, goodness me. He's going much faster than I thought, but yeah, he's uh, made me cut some corners, that's for definite. Right, this is looking pretty good though. We've done a pretty good job and it's not actually taken too long. Now, what I'll probably do I just get all of these little bits that I've missed. Even I've done a bad job today. And what I'll probably do is, is just get Terry to go around the outside with that. Right the way around the outside of the field. And then, yeah, it, this is all set up for tomorrow. Hopefully we'll get a, a decent amount of silage bales. Certainly enough to, to get us through... Wow, to get us through for, for the near future, I guess, really. If we're lucky, we might even get another cut out of this field again before the end of the year, that would be good. Maybe we could sell them. Maybe. Right, let's try and realign myself. I'm just very conscious of Terry there in the background. 
Yeah. I don't want to get in his way. It looks like that could be painful. Now, what's he doing? He's pretty much finished here, isn't he? Right. Let's, uh, let's leave this running, actually. And I'll just tell Terry what to do a second. Not that I want to get too close to him. Doing a good job there, isn't he? Right, he's seen me. Good. Hello, Terry. Um, what are you doing in the bush? Um, I pressed the wrong pedal. Yeah, you meant to press the brake pedal, mate. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Well, it is only a bush after all. Terry, what I want you to do is just go all the way around the outside now, just to kind of yeah, even up. Give us a good run around the outside, yeah. And then, and then we're done for the day. Still nice and bright. Still got a good afternoon ahead of you, really. But we, we can leave it for now. We'll leave this here overnight anyway. We don't want it to be too damp. And then tomorrow, you're going to give me a hand to bail it. How does that sound? Oh, yeah. Good. All right, mate. Right. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it, all right? Just, yeah. Follow it right the way around the outside of the field. Pretend it's like a go-kart track or something. I don't know. Right. I'm going to get this parked up, I think. Well done, mate. Pretty good today. Oh, thanks, Mr. Pimberfy. That's all right. What? He's sleeping again. Travaskis! Oh, my God. Stop bloody doing that to me. Why are you so tired today? Oh, bloody hell. It's been a week, in it? Bloody gate portions all the time. Oh, my God. Mr. Travaskis won't let me sleep. Oh, for... All right, okay. Um... What's a portion? <laughs> Just stop asking. Oh, bloody good portion it is. Oh my god, you'll know what that is one day, my Adam. Um, whenever I have chips, I like fish. What? You know, like a portion of fish and chips. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like fish and chips as well, mate. Oh, this is Javaskis. It's like bloody gay jumbo bad sausage. Oh, Right, let's go, Terry. Let's have the afternoon off. Um, okay. <laughs>